I swear, sometimes I feel like I should have been better prepared for things, especially when I'm about to do, you know, some makeup looks, but unfortunately, I am just not prepared. I'm just what I consider myself a huge hot mess. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get started here. Hey guys, and uh, welcome to my channel. My name is Frankie Blue and uh, i i'm so excited for you guys to be here on my channel watching my boring ass watch some watch do some makeup looks here and um yeah i need to start thinking some other things of what to do for my videos but for now we're gonna do some makeup looks as i as my channel grows and stuff like that i will go ahead and transition more uh, different things and stuff like that <laughs> but for now we're keeping it for makeup looks so yeah anywho um so today um as you guys all know and seen from the title yes I'm doing a makeup look and of course I am using the Kylie Cosmetics summer summer 2018 palette I had to really think about it I was like hmm What's this from? And I forgot this palette came from her 2018 summer collection from last year. We are doing a fun little, quick little, well not quick because I always take forever. And to be honest with you guys, let me go ahead and show you these shades. And I'm gonna be real, okay? Um, this to me is just like another, you know, basic palette. It doesn't scream summer to me. When I think of summer, I think of like, Hold up, give me a second. So when I think of summer, I normally think of, for example, Juvia's Place here. This is the uh, the Zulu palette. And I think of these little fun colors here. Um, something like this, you know, fun, vibrant, things like that. And also the Alamar Cosmetics, uh, the Reina del Caribe Volume 1 palette. This is one of my absolute favorite palettes um ever so when i think of summer again you got these little fun colorful shades here um even this one from lorella cosmetics the on the edge palette like the colors in here i feel like especially from this side right here i i feel like that's more summer this to me just feels like just another like normal palette like you got some fun colors that you can work with which to be honest with you, like to me, the only two like fun colors on here is this one, this one, and this one. Um, the rest of them, you're, you can kind of just, you know, find it in other palettes and it's just like, Meh, you know what I mean? So again, those that's just my opinion. So uh, don't judge me, let me live my life. So pff, I digress. I figured, you know, we're gonna do something kind of fun, a little, you know, of course it's gonna be a little bit on the semi-basic basic side, but I'm gonna, you know, introduce some funness into this look because don't get me wrong, even though it's pretty basic and stuff like that, I actually really enjoy these colors. I'll be honest, I prefer more the mattes over the shimmers, and I'll kind of... <laughs> talk about it throughout the time that throughout I'm doing my makeup so um especially this one this one I'm just gonna be real this one is called beach babe which is this one right here and I feel like this one is like a top coat type of a shade um shimmer or whatever but I just I don't like it it's like there's look it's like there's no pigment I mean granted it looks nice because of the light that's hitting me but it's just I feel like there's just no, there's really no pigment and it's just a top coaty shade, which to be honest with you, I kind of feel would be more used as a highlighter. Like you can't even see it. So, but starting this makeup looks so bad. I'm so sorry. You can find this palette here on Kylie's website, uh, which is kyliecosmetics.com for all of you guys that don't know. I believe the palette ranges about, I think it's $42. I might be wrong, which to be honest with you, it's kind of, <coughs> Excuse me. Well, I believe the palette is around $42. I might be wrong. Don't quote me on that. I'll go ahead and just list the price somewhere on the screen. If not, it's going to be found in the description box as long as well, um, along with uh, the link to KylieCosmetics.com. So you guys can go ahead and check the palette out. I believe right now it's actually sold out. So you can't find this right now. So 
and apologize, but um, she also has some other things. She has a wide range of palettes, concealers, of course her famous lip kits, which to be honest with you, kind of nobody is really checking for them. So you didn't hear that from me. I'm just gonna shut up because I feel like I'm just degrading poor Kylie Cosmetics. So let's just go ahead and get started with this makeup look because the more I ramble, the more bullshit I start talking about, so. Don't mind me, you know. <laughs> um, anyway, so let me go ahead and scoot you guys in so we can go ahead and get this makeup look started. Okay, so slight change of plans. I didn't realize that I was recording the entire time. And as you can tell, I already started. Um, I thought that I was recording already. And I just kept rambling and rambling and rambling. I don't even know what I said now, so... Let me go ahead and start a little bit over here. I won't do my shadows, even though I kind of already did. So, love it. All right, so now that I have you guys a closer now, and this happened. Anyways, back to talking about the palette here. Let me try to remember what the hell I was saying. Oh, and just FYI, if you guys didn't know, um, you can find some of her eyeshadow palettes, um, her nine pan eyeshadow palettes, and some of her lipsticks uh, at Ulta. So if you guys wanna check those out, or you guys wanna see and swatch her lipsticks and some of her eyeshadows, and then, you know, make your decision yourself, make an informed decision, you can go to Ulta and, you know, swatch them and check them out and see if you like them. Um, because let's face it, if you order from KylieCosmetics.com, you're basically fucked because if you don't like it, you can't really return it. Anyways, um, <clears throat> I'm just gonna shut up and let's finish this eyeshadow look or whatever because I, again, I started with an eye... Oh, just to kind of briefly touch here. I just barely started with the base. I haven't really gone all crazy yet. So I pretty much did is I took my AOA Studio E135 brush. This is my little round, this is my little, my large round brush. And I took the shade right here called Hottie, which is this one right here. And I'm just basically blending it out on all over the crease. Um, and what I was saying is that, um, out of this whole palette, my favorite things are definitely the mattes in this palette. The mattes are definitely some of my favorites. So, I just love how they blend. I love how smooth they are. They are definitely a little bit on the creamy side. So, let's finish this look. Again, I'm just applying Hottie all over my crease here. So now I am taking this AOA Studio E137 brush. This is a flat, um, fluffy brush. And um, I am taking the shade here. I am taking the shade Malibu, which is this one right here. Okay, so I'm gonna have to go back and forth because um, the shade names are in the back. Um, I kind of wish that the shade names were right here in the front underneath the shadows. Um, so I don't have to be going, you know, back and forth on the names. So that's just my thing right there. But um, again, I'm taking the shade Melon, which is this one right here on that E137 from AOA Studios. And uh, just picking up, oh, look at that, pretty. Okay, and I'm just gonna blend this here on the crease just to add uh, some vibrancy to that color, to the eye here. Look at that. I need some pigment, yes. Okay, and then just FYI, also another thing, y'all know that for me, Fallout, you know, it's doesn't really matter to me if the eyeshadow palette has a lot of fallout. A lot of the shadows, I mean, have a lot of fallout. It doesn't really bother me that much. Um, as long as the, you know, shadows perform really good on the eye and if it blends and all that stuff. Um, but I did want to just let you guys know that the palette does have fallout. Um, so that way, so you guys can see here, this is melon and then this is the fallout that I got from when I dipped my shadow on when I dip my brush in the shadow to pick up that product. So just FYI, if you know, Fallout is, um, 
uh, an issue for you, just know that this palette does have fallout. It's not as crazy, but there is some fallout on there. So just keep that in mind there, you know. Now that we have that going on here, um, I am now going to dive in to this. <laughs> Let me think this through hold up <laughs> now that i have this going on i feel like i'm just gonna slightly deepen up my uh outer eye and i am going to take um the small uh tapered brush this is the bh cosmetics uh number three eyeshadow from their smoky eye set i think i used this brush so many times on this channel or in yeah y'all know that that's like one of my favorite brushes so um so I'm gonna go ahead and take that small tapered brush and I'm gonna use the shade here called Blazing, which is this kind of like chocolate, you know, fudgy brown kind of. And I'm just gonna focus this here on the outer part of the eye here. And I'm just gonna like, you know, just lightly deepen it up. Now that we have that going on, um, so now let's kind of have a little bit of fun. Let's add some rustic moments to this. So what I'm gonna do is I am actually going to take the shade. I am going to take the shade right here called Heat Wave, and I'm actually gonna use my finger for this shadow. I noticed that with her shades it's very hit or miss um when using a brush for these metallic shimmer shadows because i realize that they don't really pick up with a brush and normally what i always recommend is using like a flat brush something like for example like something for example like this which is a flat brush here this is from bh cosmetics this is the number four palette um this is what i call i think a packer brush so um definitely this is beautiful for applying metallic shadows on there you can use this wet or dry however but i did notice that with her Ugh, excuse me i did notice that with her metallic shadows whenever i would try and apply with a brush it kind of gets a little bit messy-ish and I feel like mm, doesn't really give the pigment that I want so I noticed that with her metallic shadows nine times out of ten it's better best to be applied with a finger so as you can tell that swatch so freaking pretty again that's the shade called heat wave and I am just gonna apply this all over the lid with my finger and again I'm not flipping you guys off I should just because so Ooh, that's really pretty before I move to the inner corner highlight um, I am now gonna dive in to do my under eye situation because as you all know I love a good under eye action I just think it looks so freaking pretty. I feel like it literally like makes the eyes look even beautiful. Um, so I am going to kind of deepen and I'm gonna take this shade right here. That shade is called Suns Out Buns Out. Seriously. Okay, and I'm gonna take that shade and I'm gonna use an E139 brush. This is a small shader brush here. And I'm just gonna, you know, deepen my under eye here. All right, so now I'm gonna dive into this shade here called Melon. And I'm gonna take that small tapered brush here that's from BH Cosmetics. And I'm just gonna kind of warm up my under eye here just to kind of diffuse that um, dark color there. Just to kind of give it that brightening effect here. Because again, I want that dramatic eye. I swear, supposedly I said I was gonna do something like 
simple and you know gorge and stuff like that but this just turned into straight up a dramatic eye i'm gonna take this bh cosmetics this is the number two brush this is a medium uh tapered brush here and with no product i'm just gonna just blend everything out just to make sure that everything is nice and blended and gorge before i finish i'm just gonna grab again that uh, e139 brush here that small shader brush and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna do like your you know tech your your conventional highlighting and I'm just gonna highlight my brow bone and I will just take this shade right here summer so I'm gonna take that shade right here called summer okay and again bam and I'm just gonna highlight my brow bone here just to give some like glowy action Let's go ahead and highlight my inner corner. And what I am going to do is I am going to take this nice little pencil brush here. This is from a brandless brush, nice little pencil brush. And I am taking the shade here called Juicy, which is this one right here. Oh, Y'all can see that, so, so that's the one right there. I have a lot of good and bad about that shade Juicy good is because uh it's so it looks so beautiful on the eyes um especially an inner corner highlight type of um you know moment there and the con that i don't like is that this shade right here is very rough for some weird reason it's like really hard and you can't really get a lot of pigment going on and that's just like mm, especially for like a shade that freaking pretty and for it to be like that tough it's like that's just my downfall it's that it's pressed really hard to the point where you can't really pick up pick pick out pick up <laughs> too much product uh you can't really pick out you have to literally like dig your brush on there to get you know pigmentation so i was able to get that and so anyways put this here on my inner corner of my eye it's gonna be my highlighting sh my inner corner highlight and i'm just gonna drag it here I just moved this. Did I really just move this? I sure did. Um, anyway, now what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I am gonna do my, put my lashes on, do some liner, some mascara, put some lipstick and some highlight, get this face set. I will come back with the finished look, so stay tuned. So this is the finished look how are we feeling about this you guys i mean granted yes this is a whole lot of drama that's going on in this situation here so but i digress scared why not keep with you know keep with the situation going with the lips here you know since we're using highly cosmetics you know eyeshadow palette Bitch, why not? Let's just use her lipstick right here. Yeah. This is her lipstick here. This is the uh, her liquid lipstick. This is in the shade Ginger. Um, to be honest, this is actually one of my favorite shades that she has in her line. So I actually really have to repurchase this because this one's like actually really old. I don't even know why I'm wearing it. Oh my God. This is the finished look, you guys. So what do you guys think? Are we vibing it? like yes work like give me let me know what's going on with the situation okay and yes my highlight is like very beaming today look at that let me know your thoughts in the comments down below as well as let me know suggestions on what you guys see want to see in future videos and on top of that let me know if this is something actually that you guys would wear like let me know if this, like, put in the comments there and tell me if this is something that you guys would wear. Like, literally, like, for real, for real, like, rock this out. I mean, this is not really dramatic, dramatic, but I'm pretty sure for, you know, the simple girl, you know, my little nudes girl, this might be a little bit like, oh my god, you know what I mean? But, let me know if this is something that you guys would wear. Go ahead and encourage that, you know? Bring in the drama in the eyes, yes! Other than that, you guys, that's pretty much all that I have to say today. 
Um, again, I will go ahead and leave the uh, link down below to KylieCosmetics.com so you guys can go ahead and check out her products and stuff like that. Um, before I leave, I just want to go ahead and just kind of give some heads up here or some recommendations here because to be honest with you, yes, this is a really good palette. Um, you know, the shades are, you know, really pretty. Um, however, I'm going to be honest, I would rather you guys spend that money on something that's actually worth it and that's within your price range because let's face it $42 is a lot of money come on bitch we ain't shitting money you know what I mean for the average girl like you know all these bitches can be like oh $42 it's not bad but bitch nah when you're working full-time okay when you're working full-time and you got them bills to pay especially when you're a mom and you got them kids 42 motherfucking dollars is a lot of money. So I'm gonna need you to sit down and get your life. I would rather you guys pick up something that's definitely worth it within the similar colors. Um, recommendations I can think of here. Juvia's Place has a lot of really great shades. Uh, I'm sorry, it has a lot of really great palettes. For example, something like this, like the Magic Mini uh, by Juvia, you know, you got some colors like this. Even my Lorella Cosmetics palette, this is $24. And I mean, you get a whole wide range of shades. If you guys really want something bronzy and you know, glowy, I recommend this one right here. This is the Morphe 35G Bronze Gold palette. Um, this is just fairly new. And you got some shades right here. This is literally $25 and you know, you get a ton of shades compared to what you're getting from here. So other than that, you guys, that's pretty much it. This is the makeup tutorial here that I did using the Kylie Cosmetics Summer 2008 palette. Um, any products that I didn't feature on here, I will go ahead and leave in the description box below. Um, as well as go ahead and uh, hit that subscribe button, you guys. Come on, show some love. Make sure you hit that like button. Um, be part of the beauty blues. The beauty blues the blue beauties to be honest with you i really have no idea what i'm calling my little cute little fan base so just be part of the tribe and um and you know leave me some comments some suggestions i promise you guys that i'm gonna start doing some uh things a little bit different here and there um as my channel progresses and grows so thank you so much for watching you guys and i will see you guys in the next video so <laughs> bye